Hello, folks. This is Anthony Honda Snowblower Enthusiast on YouTube and uh, Facebook. Today, I'm going to show you a modification for you to get more reverse speed out of your Honda Snowblower. I have to thank uh, Mike from Newfoundland and Craig uh, Benson, who wrote a pretty good article on the Honda on the Facebook group on how to do this with some pictures. Well, I'm going to show you today how to do it. Here's a, a, a Honda 724. I'm talking about the hydrostatic transmissions, the automatic type transmissions that this will work on. Let me start it up and show you what I'm talking about. You may have uh, plenty of speed going forward, or you may have too much speed going forward and too little speed going in reverse. So there's a way to adjust the cable, and I'm going to show you how to get more uh, balance speed on that but if you have a pretty good forward speed but you're kind of crawling in the reverse and you want to get more reverse speed I'm going to show you another way to do that all right let me start this up let's see if it will start <laughs> I'm always surprised when these things start right off I don't know why <laughs> I've worked on hundreds All right, let me go forward. It's got a lot of forward speed. It's got good reverse speed, but this is what I'm talking about. Okay, I don't have the whole lever all the way back. Well, let's say you have the lever all the way back and it's slow and you know it's frustrating and it's annoying, you know, and you want more speed. So let me show you two ways. The tools you're gonna need are a couple uh, 12 millimeter wrenches. Uh, uh, what do you call these? <laughs> a needle nose pliers. I mean, I got a mini set of pliers. Uh, perhaps a pick and a, a little hammer all right let me show you the first thing you got your your forward reverse cable down here and it's held in with a lock nut and an adjusted nut now if you have uh, a lot of speed going forward very little speed going reverse this cable can be adjusted right here you can see the threads. You loosen your lock nut, and this is your, you can pull it out. You loosen it up uh, with a 12 millimeter wrench, and then you can adjust this. And what I do is I use trial and error. Uh, I can't remember offhand which way to go. So I'd go up, I'd go up here a little bit, and then, and then lock it in, and then try it and see what my speed is, or go the other way. And the reason why you need two wrenches is because when you're tightening it up, you need one wrench on the top nut while you lock down your, your lower nut, okay? So you don't twist the cable. So this is one way to get a balanced speed. If you've got too much speed reverse or too much speed forward and you want to adjust the speed, balance them out, or get more speed on the reverse, you can try this first, okay? So the, the second way to do it, a little known secret they don't like to tell you about, but up here <clears throat> where you've got your your cable that's connected up here to your to your lever, can you see there's two holes? There's the pin that holds the cable in, okay? And then you've got another hole down below. All you have to do is remove the pin and move it down to this other hole. Let me try that. I need my needle nose pliers. If it has a if it has a cotter pin in it like a lot of them do, you can use a pick and a hammer to uh, to get it out. But this one has a hitch pin in it. Get it. All right, I pulled the hitch pin out. 
Now I can, I'm trying to do this with one hand. Now I can pull my, my uh, pin out. Okay. And then you could lower the pin. I mean the cable down to the second hole, the lower hole. And all you have to do is, is put your pin back in and put your hitch pin back in or a little cotter pin or even a piece of wire, you know, that, uh, that you can just stick through the hole to keep that pin in. Let's see if I can do this with the one hand. I usually have my headset on. Ah, it's going to be too much trouble. But you know, you know what I'm talking about. Just bring this cable, the cable eyelet down to the bottom hole. Stick your pin back in. Here's your little pin. There it is. Here's your little pin. And then put your hitch pin through that little hole. And you're going to have more speed. Uh, let's see if I can get this in there. Because I'd really like to show you this work. Let's see. Now i got to turn it so I can get the hole lined up for the hitch pin. Okay. And I put the hitch pin back in it. Let's try this sucker out. Oh, I should have used my headset. I didn't think it was going to be difficult. All right, let's do this. Holy mackerel. It's really moving now. Whoa. Okay, can you can you see the difference? I mean, you got a heck of a and I didn't even have it all the way back. See, I had it. I still had another inch to go, and the thing was <coughs> the thing was flying in both directions. So that only took me, you know, thirty seconds a minute, you know, just to pull out the pen and uh, uh, put the pen in the lower hole and stick it back together. Um, the adjustment on the on the cable is a little bit longer, a little bit of trial and error. But I hope you understand what I was what I was trying to do there. Uh, balance the speed uh, front and reverse with the cable adjustment. And then if you have uh, good forward speed, but you're crawling in the reverse speed, then you can just lower that pin to the bottom hole and you're set to go. Thank you for watching, folks. I really appreciate it. If you think this video helped you, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate everybody that's been subscribing to the channel. And we'll see you next time.